The split screen at base is just what the term implies. The screen is split insofar as it includes visibly different shots or on a computer screen, different bits of information or different windows. But it's the history of the split screen in film that interests me. I would say that one of the most remarkable early instances of the use of the split screen occurs in the 1913 film, Suspense. And as the title of that film implies, the split screen is used to generate suspense instead of cross-cutting between different actions as a bandit is entering the home of a woman and as her husband is calling to see if she's okay and will be okay until he arrives home, Weber and Smalley split the screen. In the top right corner of the screen, the woman appears. A telephone call suggests that these actions are taking place simultaneously as we actually see them simultaneously, which is what the split screen allows. A bandit appears in the left side of the screen. Suspense indeed. Now, part of what happens with the split screen, because it's so visible to us, unlike continuity editing, which is meant and has been designed and perfected over the years to render itself invisible, to, to create this illusion of reality and of continuity, the split screen instead makes itself apparent to us. It's apparent to us in the sequence from Carrie that we are in an altered state. She is being crowned queen of the prom as if she has finally been integrated. But all of those other emotions, tensions, the trauma, uh, the kind of psychosis that she's struggled with erupts. We know through sound, we know through the changing colors, the deepening of the blues and red that we've entered a different state. We have entered the state, the psychological state of Carrie who is erupting. That rage, that pain is erupting into a fury at the very moment that the screen Split. The split screen enables that by drawing attention to itself at the same moment that it kind of announces and says, welcome to the kind of interior state of trauma. Now that's both trauma in terms of Carrie's mental state, but also the kind of traumatic events that are unfolding split within herself with the feelings for transition and change um, and growth. Uh, and we see multiple actions unfolding doubly, simultaneously on the screen, unable to orient ourselves in a single space or a single moment within a contained setting as a space, that is the gymnasium. But with the split screen, the multiplicity of spaces that we see as they are divided and cut up within that gymnasium and as the chaos unfolds, we see it differently. We see it, I might say, in a sort of dual vision where our own vision, uh, like that of Carrie's, has been split asunder.